it's Rena here. So I am really excited tonight for two reasons. If you have been following me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, you will see that tonight we're making stir fry zucchini noodles. I'm really excited because one, I get to try stir fry zucchini noodles, well, zucchini noodles, and that's really cool because it's like a new craze and we're doing low carb diet right now. So it's a really good option if it tastes good. And two, I got in a new product from Amazon, which I totally love Amazon. And this is what it is. This is a premium slicer. Not sure if you can see that. It is really cool. It comes with a bag. It comes with a little scrubbing cleaner for it it came with a um like a peeler looking thing but it like makes thin long strips so like if you're making lasagna and it says that you can use it with like carrots beets other things like that so i am totally excited and let's get started so to start off what i've done is i have about a pound of chicken here that i've cut up into about one inch squares and i have it marinating in one tablespoon of soy sauce and one tablespoon of the teriyaki sauce and a little bit of salt and pepper not much because everything has a, a lot of sodium in it as it is over here we have one tablespoon of soy sauce and two tablespoons of the teriyaki sauce and then we have one tablespoon of sesame seeds now they say that we need four zucchinis so here i have four zucchinis and then we have two small yellow onions now just a tip when you're picking your onions you don't want them with the skin cracking these are fresher, you can tell because the skin hasn't cracked. So what we're gonna do is spiralize these and try and spiralize this. I'm not really sure how that works, but we will check it out. Okay, so I have opened up my premium slicer and here I have it. And it looks really small and cool like a little sharpener and it has this top with these little spikes in it. And basically what you do is when you get to the nub of your zucchini, you push it in and that, so you don't slice your fingers off, I guess. Now it also comes with a little bag for it, which is cute, and a little scrubber thingy to clean it out. And then it has this like slicer thing to get those thin long slices, I guess if you're doing like zucchini lasagna. Um, it has like a little pamphlet with some recipes and that, and I don't think that one side is different from the other, they look pretty similar so i don't think it matters which side you stick the stuff into but let's try and see how this works out so basically you just put this in here and start spinning and make sure you wash your zucchinis really well because um they have all the stuff on them and you're going to be using the skin so you want to do Ooh, look how cool that looks you see all the stringiness Ooh, this is exciting. Let me see. Oh, looks like a little pencil nub. Let's see if the other side is any different. If you get like a different cut from it. Um, I think it's actually a little bit thinner. So I am going to switch back to this side, which actually, now that I'm looking stupid me, this looks like thinner lines right there. I'm not really sure if you can see it. And this line, this side has thicker lines. So it does tell you that there's a difference. So I'm gonna use the thicker side because I want this to be like noodles. So I will just keep doing that and we will be back. I have to do this to the onions as well. So let's see how that part goes. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you this really quick. Um, I was kind of concerned about the seeds in the middle of it, like if that would make it mushy. So I'm just gonna go through this really quick and you have to see what happens. So I have this going through and as you can see, it's not mushy and there's no seeds in the middle, which I thought was kind of strange. And then you notice this little nub coming out the other end. And by the way, this thing works awesome. But this is what comes out the other end. This is what your zucchini looks like afterwards. <laughs> so I just had to show you that because I thought that was hilarious. But that's also awesome that it doesn't 
put the seeds into it so you're not getting mushy zucchini noodles. So we'll move on to the onions. Okay, so I'm gonna do the onion and I'm not really sure how this is gonna spiralize, but I'm gonna use this end to get a grip on it. Oh, oh, yeah, that's not working. So let me try just by hand. Eh, nope, that's not gonna work either. Let me try cutting it in half and we'll go from there. Okay, so I have cut it in half and let's ooh, try it this way. I feel like I'm just gonna like slice my fingers off. Yeah, that is not working. Oh, oh, and I'm crying. So I am just going to cut it up myself and slice it into thin slices because that's what it called for anyway. So let's do that. Okay guys, so I have my wok here ready to go. I have about two tablespoons of vegetable oil in it cooking at about medium high temperature and I am going to add my chicken. Okay. Whoa. So we just want this to cook until it gets um, completely browned. So we will give it a few minutes and just, you know, keep stirring it around. You don't want some pieces getting more cooked than others. So we will be back in just a moment. Hey guys, okay, so the chicken has been cooking for about five minutes. Everything looks really well browned and cooked through. So I'm just gonna take this off the heat and we'll get started with the noodles. Okay, so I took out the chicken and I just wiped the wok because I still want the flavor in there, but I didn't want all those juices. So here I have two tablespoons of vegetable oil and we are going to throw in our, oops, sliced onions. Not sure if you can see them, but here we go. So these are going to stay in for about four to five minutes until the onions become translucent. So after that four to five minutes, we will be back. Okay guys, so my onions have been cooking for about four to five minutes. They are now tender and translucent. So now the exciting parts of adding in the zucchini noodles. Now I am going to mix that all around and let it cook for about two more minutes. Okay, so my zucchini onion mix has been cooking for about two minutes. So now I'm going to add the soy sauce and the teriyaki sauce. And then I'm also gonna put in the sesame seeds. And I have a feeling that I made more zucchini noodles than the recipe had, even though I used the same amount of zucchinis. So I may need to add some more of the soy sauce and the teriyaki sauce, but I'm gonna season it right now with salt and pepper. The recipe doesn't call for that, but I always season my food with salt and pepper. I just think it gives it an all around, you know, good flavor. So I'm just gonna do probably about a pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper. Okay, so staying true to the recipe, I am not gonna add any more uh, soy sauce or teriyaki sauce. I did do one pinch of salt and a few little turns of my pepper twisty thingy. So this has to cook for about five minutes and we will be back. So this has been cooking for a while and I am going to now add my chicken to it. Um, kind of concerned because it has all that juice in there and the picture does not look, not sure if you can see that, like it has a lot of juice in it. So we shall see. But I'm just gonna let this mix in the chicken and let it sit in there for another minute or so and then take it off. So I have it here, it's kind of liquidy, but I'm gonna use the tongs and take the pasta out. Ooh, the zucchini pasta out like this. I guess I should have cut the noodles a little bit, but oh. all right, we're just going to do that. Grab some more. Oh goodness, I am making a disaster. Look, they, they're just never ending. I'm gonna grab a little bit more that with some pieces of the chicken. I am splashing everywhere. A few more pieces of chicken, just like that. And then if you want to make it a little bit pretty, you can just put some more sesame seeds on top, just like that, to garnish. Now let's test it out and see how it tastes. 
have a feeling this is going to be a strange bite because they are so big the pieces cut your pieces smaller. That's actually pretty good. I'm super surprised because I'm not a huge zucchini person fan. Um, maybe I would add a little bit more salt and pepper to it, but to make it a true Asian dish, I would probably add some ginger and garlic to it as well. But just as it is, it definitely is a do-over. Um, it's just depending on your taste. So bon appetit. Bye guys.